Hello guys, welcome to the new course Learn Data Analysis from Scratch. This is the first step towards learning the data science. In this course, we are going to learn various techniques of exploratory data analysis as well as data preparation. So guys, let's look into the topics. What are the topics we are going to cover? But prior to looking into the topics, I want to discuss one of the important question that is why to learn data analysis. So to answer your question, I would tell that the first and the foremost reason is data analysis skill is one of the high demand skills within the market and the candidate with data analysis skill gets very good package and that is because we are having very limited resources available who is having data analysis skill set so guys this is the first reason second reason data analysis gives us problem solving skills as analytics is all about solving problems and the ability to think in an analytical way and approach towards the problem in a right way is a skill that's always useful not just in professional world but in everyday life as well so guys this is about why to learn data analysis now let's look into the topics what are the topics we are going to cover in this course so guys this course is divided into four part in the first part we are going to learn about tools for data analysis in that aspect we are going to first start with python refresher where we will cover all the important topic which is required for data analysis. So we are going to cover what actually the IPython interpreter is. What is Jupyter Notebook as we are going to use thoroughly the Jupyter Notebook. We will also discuss about the basic data types which we have already covered in one of my course that is learn coding from scratch with Python 3. We will also discuss about various collection types that is list dictionaries sets tuples as it is required while writing the code for data analysis we are also going to do the refresher session for function as well as classes and objects once we finish the refresher session then we will proceed further and we will discuss about numpy library where we will learn about numpy core concept that is used within data analysis so in that aspect we are going to learn about many concepts within numpy and we will perform labs as well so in that aspect we are going to revisit the arrays concept we will look into how to handle arrays within numpy then we will also discuss about the numpy internals where we will understand that what is dimension what is shape what is strides we will also discuss about the data type and the casting we will learn about how to do slicing and indexing where we will learn about indexing slicing and indexing on 1D array, slicing and indexing on multidimensional array. Next, we will look into arrays operation where we will understand common operations on array which we generally perform. Then we will also discuss about commonly used function for NumPy arrays. Next, we are going to touch upon the broadcasting concept which is very important concept within NumPy. So we are going to cover this as well where we will learn about array broadcasting principle as well as we will also understand the usage of the broadcasting once we understand the broadcasting concept we need to understand what is vectorization once we understand the vectorization concept then we will proceed further and we will look into the pandas library that is one of the most important libraries for performing data analysis and pandas library is based upon the numpy library so whatever the knowledge we gain over here the same knowledge is being applied over here as well so we will start our learning with what actually the pandas is we will understand what is data frame we will also look into data frames basic next we will understand how to handle the missing data within pandas library we will also look into some of the commonly used operations like group by aggregation transform once we understand these concepts then we will proceed further and we will discuss about windows function that is one of the important function which is generally used to work with time series data set once we understand that then we will proceed further and we will discuss about filter filter method within pandas once we understand that then we will look into join merge and concatenate how we can join different data frame together so within pandas we are generally using three types of operations to join our data frame that is join merge and concatenate so we are going to discuss all these three once we understand that then we will discuss about apply method what is apply method and when to use apply method once we understand that then we will look into some of the data frame reshaping technique and at last we will discuss about the calculate frequency distribution once we done this then we are done with part one 
Then afterwards, we are going to learn about part 2 where I have discussed about core concept of data analysis where I have started the discussion with what actually the data is and what actually the data set is. Next, I have also discussed about types of variables where I have discussed about different type of a statistical data type where we have done the detailed discussion on categorical data type, numerical data type. Once we understand the types of data type, then we have understand why data types are important. Once we understand that, then we have also discussed about how do we collect information for different data types. After understanding this, then we have discussed about descriptive statistic concept. So in that aspect, we have discussed various concepts like what is normal distribution, what is central tendency. We have also covered the concept of measures of variability, variance and standard deviation, z-score, modality, skewness and kurtosis and why it is important to understand all these concepts while learning the data analysis. Once you understand this, then this part of the course gets completed and then we will proceed further and we will look into different types of tools for data visualization. This is covered in the part 3 of this course. And this is very interesting as we are going to learn about various kinds of data visualization technique within Python. So in that aspect, we are going to learn about matplotlib. We will also look into matplotlib architecture. Once we understand that, then we will look into another type of plotting library that is Seaborn library that is based upon matplot library itself. Next, we will discuss about parameters of plot whenever we are doing the plot. So what are the parameters which we have to consider for plotting? Once you understand that, then we have discussed various types of plot by their purpose. So basically there are six purposes we are using the data visualization. The first purpose we have discussed the identifying the correlation with the help of data visualization. Then we have also discussed about how to identify deviation with the help of different types of deviation plot. Next we have discussed about the ranking plot. With the help of ranking plot, we will come to know about ranking within the data set. We will also look into distribution plot to identify the distribution within the given data set. Next, we have also discussed about the composition task. When we want to visualize the composition, then on that time also we are using different type of composition plot. We have also discussed about various types of change plot which will help us to visualize the time series data. So this is about the plot and their types. But if you closely look into these purposes, then you will find there are various type of plots in this course. So I have given example for a scatter plot where I have written the code how to draw the scatter plot, how to draw the scatter plot with line of best fit, count plots, marginal plot, marginal box plot, correlogram, pairwise plot. So all these things we have covered in this course. Next, we have discussed about various type of deviation plot. So in that aspect, we have also seen that how to draw diverging bars, how to draw diverging dot plot. Next, we have also looked into the ranking plot where we have written code for drawing the ordered bar chart. We have also looked into dot plot. After understanding various type of ranking plot, we have also looked into various distribution plots. So in this category, we have learnt about histogram for continuous variable, histogram for categorical variable. We have also written the code for density curves with histogram. We learned that how to write the code for data visualization in a step by step manner where I have performed code along walkthrough session for each of the plot. We have looked into various example of distribution plot with the help of different data visualization plot. Over here we have covered box plot, dot box plot, categorical plots. Once we understand that then we have also looked into various type of composition plot which help us to visualize the composition. So in that aspect we have seen how to write the code for pie chart, how to write tree map, how to write bar chart and at last we have also looked into change plot which is used to plot the time series data. So in that aspect, we have learned about two type of plot where we can demonstrate how to draw the trends within the given time series data set. So guys, this session is very in-depth session if you want to learn about data visualization within Python. Once you learn all these things, then part three gets over. Then we will proceed further and we will be ready for part 4. That is our end goal. So in the part 4, we are going to utilize all the knowledge which we have gained in part 1 to part 3. So in this part of the course, we are going to learn about exploratory data analysis and data preparation workflow with the project. So first we will understand that what actually the exploratory data analysis is, what is the value 
of exploratory data analysis is and then we will discuss about each of the steps within the data exploration and data preparation so basically we are going to discuss about seven steps so these seven steps generally perform whenever we do the data exploration and data preparation so the process of data exploration and data preparation starts with the variable identification so here i have covered various aspect of the variable identification like how to identify the predictor variable how to identify the target variable once we understand that then we will proceed further at a step 2 we have discussed about univariate analysis technique in that aspect we will come to know about how to do analysis on a single variable and what to analyze while performing the univariate analysis once we're done with that then then we are having a regressive session on bivariate analysis in this session we will learn the technique of analyzing two variables together and how to identify the relationship between two variables that we have discussed in details once we are comfortable with bivariate analysis we proceed further we have discussed about missing values treatment in a step 4 where we learned that how to identify the missing value within the given data set and how to handle those missing values within the given data set and this we have done in the real time project that is boston housing price once we understand that then we have also looked into how to identify the outliers and we have also discussed about what actually the outliers is and how to do outlier analysis within our given data set once we understand that then we proceed further and we have also discussed about variable transformation where we learned about the techniques of variable transformation when to use why to use and what actually the variable transformation is as well as we have also looked into how to perform the variable transformation and we have also discussed about the significance of variable transformation in this project and at last we have also discussed about the variable creation what actually the variable creation is why we create the variables and how we can create the variable and at last we have also discussed about once ready with the data analysis what will happen next and the best part of this step by step learning is we have performed all these things in a real time data analysis problem that is based on one of the Kaggle competition and we have used the data set of that particular competition to understand all these concepts so guys there are many things I have covered in this course and this course is very detailed course that will give you first stepping stone towards learning the data science skills so on this note i am stopping over here see you in course till then bye bye take care